Well, welcome in to the official launch day of the new Joker movie as we reach peak movie hysteria. And I have collected some of the best and most eye-rolling reactions to the Joker film, as well as I will give you my prep guide as I will be going to see the movie tonight on release night because I'm not a pussy. So Rotten Tomatoes puts out a, a, a tweet, of course, saying Joker movie is now certified fresh at 79% with 161 reviews. Tap reply. Every critic that gave the film a fresh review will have blood on their hands. Now that is, of course, a joke, a meme, I hope. But it is a encapsulation of what the media is doing on this, the release day of Joker. Some certified blue check marks on Twitter. And by the way, well, I'll get to that in a second. Some certified blue check marks on Twitter have gone now to removing the O and replacing it with an asterisk, actively censoring themselves from saying the movie's title. With big brain tweets like, honestly, I just want a movie that isn't Joker to win. How about Matthew Denby? We all know J. Asterisk KER will likely strike a chord with some mythical enemies. Art doesn't just reflect society, it also shapes and influences it. No, it's just a movie, dude. Just a movie. How about Lindsay Transylvania? Pretty positive I'm going to 100% skip J apostrophe KER because I don't even care remotely on any end of that equation. Great. Thanks for sharing your opinion. You can see Priscilla Page. Of course, also, there is endless blue check marks censoring that word. And speaking of which, I'm going to ask that you help share this video by leaving a like, leaving a comment on it, and putting it out on Twitter or retweeting my tweet of it, which will be in the pinned comment below. I've noticed something very bizarre with uh, videos on this topic. First of all, every video I've made in the past week uh, is flagged for review. I've also noticed, for the most part, ever since the original announcement of some of the craziness, they haven't been recommended to anybody. And that's also really bizarre. And I'm not sure why, but I'm hoping that together we can share the hilarity. I even got an official Joker movie classified statement on it if you can see this is a joint intelligence bulletin released yesterday the joint intelligence bulletin intelligence one is intended to provide information about individuals sharing spicy online posts calling for unspecified activities at showings of the movie joker which is scheduled to open in theaters october 4th although some theaters may have had screenings of the Evening, October 3rd, the FBI receives tips and, and anonymous things posted on the chans. This JIB is provided to assist all enforcement officials and private sector security. I was sent this from multiple people in the private security sector. And of course, we could take a look at what the New York showing us we've got security we've got nypd we've got looks like bag checks bag checks this is to see a movie and make no mistake about it the bill for all of this goes to the media the media that was spinning everybody up and trying to get everybody scared that something would happen at a movie you've got well-known comic book grifter Mags Visaggio saying, I was actually kind of looking forward to the Joker before the director had to open his big mouth and broadcast for the whole world that this movie was exactly what people have been predicting it would be. The heroic story of an entitled white dude. Yeah, this is exactly like when somebody replies to me on Twitter and says something like, bro, I used to be a huge fan of yours, but now, and then they say something that, 
is absurd. Now nah, you weren't ever really a fan of mine. And Meg's Visaggio, she lives in her roommate, a single one bedroom apartment above a Chinese restaurant with nine to 10 roommates, three ferrets, two albino rats, and a small dog. She cannot afford the $15 ticket price to see a movie in modern day cinema. But that won't stop all these articles. Here we have the Daily Mail getting completely trolled by the 4chans. You see an anonymous post. Some of you guys all are all right. Don't go to Ritz Cinema Sydney tomorrow in before news. And there it is, of course, immediately covered. And this is all because of media. There was never any credible information about any of this. And this has been great. Look. I am sincerely hopeful, of course, that nothing will happen. I have absolutely, positively, no reason to believe it would, other than unfabricated, selling, like, fear-mongering from click-hungry websites like IGN, like Vox, like Deadline.com. Now we have undercover precautions for opening weekend. Why? Why? because of Deadline and other websites like Forbes and Vox, which now attack the fans, which is the story we're gonna finish on. Amid concerns about potential situations, by the way, there's no concerns, there's been no valid, I have not seen a single piece of valid information. It seems like the media is willing something bad to happen Amid concerns, Warner Brothers' controversial Joker in New York City will see increased presence of uh, both in and out of uniform. Earlier this week, NYPD's chief told officers that they plan to be visibly stationed officers at theaters showing the Joaquin Phoenix starring film. And we've seen that. We've seen them actually do that. And again, with no, with no absolutely credible information whatsoever and we can see joker to laugh up 155 million dollars opening around the world box office preview after its bold and triumphant premiere at venice film festival golden lion winner joker goes out to most overseas markets wednesday with previews starting stateside at 4 p.m thursday all in todd phillips film on batman has set a global debut of 155 million which would be the second best for October behind last year's Venom, which, by the way, made $207 million. That was crazy. That was one of the weirdest movie successes I've ever seen. You had an excellent starring actor, but by all reasonable reviews, a very mediocre film. But the Venom fandom came out in droves to see Tom Hardy in that film, and $200 million I mean, to me, Joker seems like it's going to be an infinitely better, infinitely better film. But, I mean, wow. I would love to see him smash that record, though. Neither headlines about security nor the picks are rating have slowed tracking forecasts. Shocking. Which still have the movie eyeing an October record domestic opening of $80 million at 4,300 locations. Uh, upsetting Venom's $80.25 million. That theater rep counts for high October. Venom's 4,200 launch theater launch so about the same money on 10 percent less theaters should warner brothers village roadshow core production team come in less than 80 million then it's on the hand on the heads of non-fanboys and crossover audience who might find this tough pick about a deranged guy hard to swallow yeah because nobody saw hannibal nobody saw silence of the lambs remember that movie remember how it was a huge box office flop and nobody liked that movie and nobody still watches it to this day yeah me either Joker is the second most anticipated film among uh, Adam Ticket moviegoers during the post-September period after Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Sty bleh, Skywalker. Soy Walker. The pick is 77% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, which, by the way, the real score for the film on Rotten Tomatoes is probably close to mid-80s, but there are people that have seen the reviews while wildly praising the film as excellent and revolutionary and blah, 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 blah. Still giving it a two out of five score, artificially suppressing the ratings, suppressing the ratings. But I actually don't think Rotten Tomatoes really affects ticket sales that much. I, I haven't seen any strong data to support it. 
even though many websites themselves seem to indicate that because they're always worried about the reviews. But I mean, Venom reviewed very poorly, but it didn't matter. Everyone went and saw it anyway. But never mind that. It's the fans. It's the fans. Now, who would have imagined thousands of articles, a barrage lasting several weeks, attacking the fandom, which is, of course, white and male, at least by these article standards. I don't know why you'd have to be white and male to enjoy this movie. But imagine that fandom getting a little annoyed. Joker has toxic fans. Does that mean it should exist? Yeah, nobody was saying anything, by the way. Nobody was complaining or pushing back until you started saying ridiculous things about the film and pointing at the fandom itself as a reason why. I've been getting threats. Bull, by the way. Not a lot of them. Probably because I gave the Joker a lukewarm 2.5 out of 5. Also, it's extremely unlikely that any of these people have seen Joker since it doesn't open in theaters till October 4th. That hasn't kept fans from spiking the IMDb score as of Tuesday before release to a 9.4 out of 10 with more than 17,000 votes. And the majority of them have to be people who couldn't have seen the movie yet. Rotten Tomatoes audience score isn't available yet because the company introduced a policy earlier this year that keeps audience scores from being logged until the movie opens. By the way, a policy I like. I actually like the Rotten Tomatoes uh, kind of Steam review type thing. Once they know you've purchased a ticket and they know that you've seen the movie, then your review is valid. I actually really appreciate that. That prevents all sort of coordinated reviews that go against movies like Black Panther and the all-woman Ghostbuster film. I didn't think Black Panther faced a lot of negative reviews. I don't remember that being a thing. Maybe I missed it, but I don't remember that. The Joker isn't out yet, but it hasn't kept fans from threatening and often misogynistic tweets and emails. Some vaguely warning of bad things this, uh, to some critics who have seen the movie but didn't praise it enough for their taste. No, again, it isn't that you didn't like the film. It isn't that you gave the film a bad review. It's why you did and why you did so transparently. It's clear to me that it's not that people, hey, look, if you said, hey, look, this just wasn't for me, I don't think anybody would be giving you any backlash. But it's, hey, it's about a, a white male doing things I don't like and it's going to inspire other white males to do things I don't like. That's why you're getting the pushback. Receiving this kind of vitriol isn't entirely uncommon for film critics, particularly when we're writing about movies based on comic books or other properties with deep, allegiant fan bases. Again, it's not that you're writing him, it's what you're writing about him. It's all the inferences and subtle shots at the fandom that gets them riled up. It gets you clicks, obviously, but when you talk about the thing that happened in Colorado when, again, absolutely no evidence that the dark knight was any inspiration for that it's a complete and utter fabrication that the media continues to carefully put in their articles to put that in your mind but there was never any link between the two regardless coupled with early reports of the film's plot having to do with uh, an evil person you know like any normal film i don't know like michael myers or how about friday the 13th or how about saw or how about get out or how about, i mean there's any i mean this movie is doing nothing different except well what the main character looks like the joker controversy is reminiscent in some ways of the hunt controversy but it's also very different by the way i stand and and say they should have released the hunt that was a ridiculously themed movie where um, elites hunted people they called deplorables. It would have been amazing. It would have been a week full of hilarious coverage for me. By the way, you should not censor that movie just because um, people didn't like the concept of it. It should exist, just like the Joker should exist, obviously. It's worth pausing here with uh, on the response of these two films since they're both bear both similarities and differences. Concerns over the hunt first popped up after the film's trailer dropped depicting them elites hunting ordinary people. By nature, the trailer doesn't give away the full story of the film. Again, that film should have existed. They never should have pulled that at all. But as with, you know, any piece, any film, the Joker will do great. I will be seeing it on opening night. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. The ghosts that the media so pathetically seem to be egging on. 
They sounded almost disappointed when nothing happened at the LA premiere, and you can bet they're going to sound disappointed this weekend if nothing happens as they've tried to will into existence these pathetic, click-hungry losers. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Above, you'll find some links to watch more videos as well as a nice big button to subscribe, which I hope you'll do. If you did enjoy it, make sure before you go that you leave a like and a comment on the video because you are the number one reason this channel continues to grow and I appreciate you.